Insights Deprogrammed. My name is Justin, and I'm your, I'm going to say, humble host this week, because I am very humble. So humble, in fact, that I'm working on my self-esteem. And you can help me with my self-esteem by going to patreon.com slash oh hi Justin. I would be greatly appreciated. Uh, just saying, you get you get this show, right? Four days before the rest of the world, you know? Uh, you get... <laughs> That's a very bad norm impression. You also get you also get uh, the hashtag WrestlePals pod. You get the uh, the Wrestle Party pre tapes. You get the hashtag Wrestle Party. You get uh, you get all sorts of stuff, man. I'm gonna leave it at that. You get anything your world or anything your heart desires comes right to you in your email, and you can listen to it. Just push and play. It's pretty great, and uh, it only costs you a dollar a month. Today we're talking about Adam and the Ants, and. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in via via the phone line, Alfredo Torres. Dudes, it's good to have you back, dudes. Uh, it's always good to be back, my friend. Uh, oh, we uh, we recorded the best of 2018 a couple weeks ago, and I'm sitting on it. Why? What are you waiting for? 2019 to put it out? It is 2019. Well, there you go. You're already late. See. Yeah. And uh, joining us in the studio is Brian Lewis. Hello. You made the trek all the way here. It was a long, long drive. On the on a Tuesday night. I hate to put timestamps on it. I had nothing to do. <laughs> I had nowhere else to I go. I was uh, lifting weights. What? What? <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't can't help but do this uh, really bad norm impression, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I get the, I I have the like the the pauses and the I can put the you knows in the right place. It's just a really it's the bad cadence. Moment. It's the cadence. Man. I just I can't you know it it's is it the, is what it is. It's the tone and the pitch. Yes, and the uh, it, it's everything. Yes, and <laughs> the humor. Just, just yeah, and the humor and uh, yeah everything. If it weren't for all that, it would be perfect. <laughs> it would be, it it would be, be spot on. We're here to talk about Adam and the Ants, and actually, Fredo, I'm almost positive you're the one who put Adam and the Ants up on the board. Uh, you know. For everybody who knows me or thinks that they know me. You think you know me. You think you know me. Right. I'm a brother, brother. Brother, brother. Uh, <laughs> what, what people don't realize is that Adam Ant of Adam and the Ant had a profound effect on my life. All right. Um, uh, you figure, you know, <laughs> my, my love of pirate coats mm -hmm. and pirate shirts and all that kind of flashy clothing comes from Adam Ant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and how about the know, music, though? Oh, 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 do I got to deal with this fucking shit all fucking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. You know what? Fuck you guys in the little fucking <laughs> uh, uh, cheers fest you had before you I called in. All right. Come on. The cheers fest? Whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it, it's, his, it's his mashing of the pirates and. And and the uh, Western and the um, Outlaw, yep. you know, just the way he mashed it all together, man. It was just it was very flamboyant. I fucking loved it. So you so, pulled a lot of your fashion sense from. Yes. All right. Yep. A lot of my frilly shirts and my pirate coats and my boas and all the rest of that stuff come from Adam Ant. Oh, you love the snakes. This is what I hear. Well, settle down. <laughs> I, know, I know what you're implying. <laughs> you know snakes like the reptile uh-huh okay is that, is that, yeah. what, is that what they call it these days yeah huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? Hey, bride you hopped on you hopped on actually at, at this point you probably hopped on a year or two ago like, probably yeah. probably when we were still on rfr i just it, it kept getting pushed off so, as soon as i saw it i jumped on it yeah so, absolutely so talk to me about adamant because i i have a feeling that musically it's going to be a lot more than Fredo and his pirate shirts. I mean, it, m musically, not as much as you'd think. It's probably more of what Fredo said. Like, oh. I, he is, he was a part of my life. My first introduction to Adam Ant was not even his music. It was, I saw an episode of when I was a kid of amazing stories and he played a spoiler alert, an alien in that episode. And I was like, I think this guy's cool. I don't even know who he was. And then right. my parents were like, that's Adam Ant. And I was like, I don't know who that is. And then I grew up and I heard, it's a couple of his songs, and I was like, "This guy seems like we're from the same planet together." Like, right. like he, he he has this alien thing, like that Bowie had, and I was like, "He's not from here, but we're from the same place." Yeah. yeah. And I always thought he was like the coolest guy. I loved his fashion sense. I loved his flamboyance. I loved everything. 
and he was fun. He yeah, was fun, super too. fun. And and relatively like for my taste, this might be weird. He was kind of like wholesome comparatively to like the punk that I grew up with. You know, and like you, you know what he was? He was naughty. Yeah. He you was know, like, he was risque without being like right, raunchy, right? Without being yeah. like, "Hey, look, these my balls. I'm gonna jam them yeah. up your ass." No, he was like, "Oh, look, ooh, ooh you're naked. Ooh, yeah. hello." <laughs> What's funny though is like you pick that up a little bit in the music, and, and w- so what we're covering here is we covered the three Adam and the Ants records, yeah. and then we're covering two Adam Ant records. Um, you suggested this, Brian. You, actually, I think you wanted to bring more adamant into the into the fold I, I mean i'm for me they're they're indistinguishable to 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 a point i mean mm-hmm. there's there's exceptions there um but for me adam i mean adamant is adam and the ants is adamant anyway mm-hmm. i mean they're they're one and the same yeah so, i agree in in hindsight though like if i'm being honest i was grooving a little bit more to the solo stuff rather than the band stuff so i i mean I enjoyed the band just fine, but you hear a lot of that flamboyance in there at, at points. It, 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 I don't want to say it put me off cause it didn't, it just, it made for a more rigid listening. Yeah. Um, because he's especially like that first record, it's kind of like all over the map and it's like, you're listening and you catch a groove. And then the next song is something completely different, which I, I, I don't mind in, on, in an artist, but yeah. it does make it, it it took a lot longer to listen to than I would have, I would normally, as opposed it's, to. Go ahead. You know that that's one of those albums that when it came out, it's a whole different feel than in hindsight. Um, I like that it's all over the place mm-hmm. because of the, because of the fact that you didn't know what was next. Yeah. You it, know, and, and 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 because it was all over, but I mean, it was just like, hey, we're gonna try this sound. Yeah, you know, that was okay. Let's try this sound. Hey, let's try this groove. And it was, and, and, and I loved it, man. No, I mean, you're absolutely right. Like, it, it's, it's a good listen. It's a good album. But when you're listening to it for, for the first time to try to do this. Oh, yeah. It, it makes it difficult. Um, cause you can't, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how I wanted it's to It's hard the to band. go once you know what he, his sound became to go back to that right. first record and be like, Oh, he was still figuring himself out there. Yeah. Right. Uh, unless, unless, unless you grew with him. Yeah. It's hard to go like for you. In my case, I can go back to that early stuff without a problem because I grew with him. But if you get into some of the more popular stuff, some of the more, uh, top friend, uh, top 40 stuff, and you like that, and then you try to go back into that early stuff, it, it's it's difficult. And uh, again, like, difficult, yeah, but not, not like bad. It's just, if I, when I when I do shows when I'm trying to, uh, I'm basically discovering an artist. I'm trying to frame them in a certain way. Yeah. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's sound, sometimes it's lyrics, you know, sometimes it's just the feeling um, with that first album it was really hard to go. Okay. I mean, I ended up pulling a lot from it initially. And then as I'm going back to it after, like you said, like after the first time through, I'm like, oh, I don't know, like this other stuff kind of like this idea was better refined in the later record. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it, 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 again, like I'm not, I liked the solo stuff just a tad bit better than the band stuff. Like it, mm. I think refined is the best way to put it. It yeah. felt much more refined. Like he just, this is what I am and this is what I'm going to do from now on. And it's like, okay, I can, I can get to that. I can, I can groove to that. And there's a total reason for that too. Why, oh yeah. Why it sounds like that. Adamant was like, he started off, he was like a pub rock band. He's like, famously he was in the band that, um, the sex pistols opened up for when they played their first show. Oh, and then he saw them and quit his band. <laughs> he was a bass player for that band. Okay. And then he wanted to do a punk rock band, but he never, even throughout his entire career, never got the respect he deserved from his peers. And that, I think that's what drove him fucking crazy, honestly, because he's still, a fucking still, crazy still person. Doesn't. Yeah. It, still to this day. Absolutely. Does not get the credit he deserves. And, uh, so that's, that, that's what that first record was about for me. It was him going, Hey, I, I want to be like you. And they're like, fuck you. So he goes, Oh, cool. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Then fuck you guys. So I'm going to do this cheesy. Cause that, 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 everyone, everyone looked at him. He was like, he was like a cheesy artist. Because he was this that. very flamboyant, but without they, they they thought it was style over substance, really, which really 
if you look at some of the bands in the punk rock movement, it really was style over substance, which is really <laughs> fucking funny for those guys. But uh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. And, and then Malcolm McLaren stole his fucking band and formed Bow Wow Wow. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he formed a new band. And that was the, that was the, the Adam and the Ants that made their best music. Uh, so talk to me, Fredo, about putting your 20 together because uh, you got in a car accident earlier and still hadn't put yeah, your man. 20 together. What's up with that? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm fine. It, it, you know, uh, not gonna get into it. Uh, I had my list and it went up in flames in, in the horrible car accident that was in. And, uh, no, it's a lie. It was in <laughs> uh, I am. Um, some famous guy said it. What was his name? Jesus. <laughs> uh, no, it just, um, uh, I had a list and it's in my car, which is now in, you know, getting repaired. Ah, so I had you. to go back and, and, and get it. And, and there was some stuff that, you know, I'm glad that I didn't take that list. Okay. Because it forced me to kind of, on the fly, come up with some stuff and, and and give a second listen to some songs. Though I will say that probably my favorite early Adam and the Ant song is not on any of these albums. Mine, mine too, actually. The Daicha Girls. The, the, that that's my my favorite. My favorite with a with a bullet without question is 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 beat my guest, which is the B side for uh, Stand and Deliver. Right. Uh-huh. And, and, and yeah, uh, the Daisha girls for me is, is that was the first Adam and the hand song that I heard right off the bat. And I was just like, what the fuck this you know, it's, um, it was awesome. But anyway, I went back and I had fun. It, it, it putting together this list reminded me why I'm flamboyant or why it can be remind yeah. me why I love Paisley, why I love, um, my pirate coats. Why, if I had more money, I, I would walk around like Jesse the Body Ventura, and I would <laughs> walk around like fucking Adam and the Ant back in the days. You know, um, it was it was it was fun. Yeah, and, and and that's the thing. You know, his his early stuff made punk rock fun. I can definitely Be- hear that. Yeah. yeah, you know, because he wasn't sitting there talking about how the Queen sucked, and you know, and everybody's on the dole, and all those other bulls. You know. Uh, things that, that all the other punk bands are talking about. He essentially was heavy metal. Uh, I mean, hair metal for punk. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about girls, <laughs> you know? Being yeah. weird about it, but, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Brian, talk to me about putting your 20 together. Uh, I initially, I, if you would ask me what my favorite record was, without question, I would have said Prince Charming. Right, right. Because all my favorite songs come from that recording, and the B side of my favorite song is from that record too. But man, Dirk was the most songs I had from any album, and me it was too. the hardest cuts for me to make because yep. that's a punk rock record, dude. It I is. mean, that yep. to, I mean, because I'm I, I'm more of a post punk guy. I mean, I love punk. Don't get me wrong, but post punk for me always had more to say. Like I'm more of a Pill fan than I am a Sex Pistols fan. I think there was a lot more to say when you didn't have the 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 constraints of being a punk band. You could do more musically, you could do more uh, lyrically, and but that first record is a punk record in the sense that I love, where it's not really kind of like you're you can experiment with different things. You can you don't have to talk about you don't have to talk about politics and social shit. You can just be yourself um, uh, yeah. uh, amongst semi-aggressive but also with pop sensibilities which is what Mm -hmm. i mean the ramones did perfectly it's 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 pop sensibilities with aggressive music so i it was hard for me to i had like like nine or ten songs from that on my first go round. so it like i was surprised at how much from that record i it was hard for me to to let go of i was still i was still picking songs when justin texted me say are you ready yeah, dude, I, I I parked out front before I walked up here and still cut my last song. So, mm-hmm. so I mean, I have to agree though. Like uh, Dirk, I you know, for as chaotic as it of a record as it kind of is, I I initially I was because again I'm trying I'm trying to put my finger on the pulse of what the band is. Yeah, and so like since you can't do that, I'm just like okay, well I'll pull this sound, I'll pull this sound, I'll pull this sound, pull that sound, and then I mean, I had to let go of stuff. So, so did I. And so, yeah. like, you know, sure. I, it was hard, but hearing what it becomes and how I connected to the to the later stuff better was like, OK, so I can let go of this because I got this. So, you know, 
I'm sorry, go ahead, Ben. No, no, I was I was finishing up there. Uh, you know what's interesting about that first album is it comes at a time when punk is starting to fragment. Um, that you know they, that whole era now is it, they call it post punk, but when you look at what came out of it, uh, you know Devo and 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 B fifty two Talking Heads, yeah. Kind of, Talking Heads kind of, well, Talking Heads were around punk, but when they come out and, and, and they, they, they're taking punk into different ways. And Adam and the Ants does that, um, in what ends up being called the new romantic movement. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And, and out of that, and, and bands like Duran Duran, um, the Style Council, a Spandau Ballet, that's what the new romantic movement ends up becoming. But it starts with Adam and the Ants. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree, man. I mean, mm. Justin, your 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 thoughts on the uh, new romantic movement? He doesn't know about it. <laughs> very romantic. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know about That's it. That's very insightful. <laughs> Our fearless leader I, here. I, I, I get told by the silence. He was like, probably sitting there going, uh, "No, uh, what happened was no, his, his, actually his, his his headphones came unplugged, and I was giving shit about it. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I, I wanted to put him on the spot. I'm talking." You know, I, I go into this, you know, this whole bit about talking about the new romantic movement. I get silenced. And Crickets. It, you know, <laughs> on, on, on my end, it's like, yeah, Fredo, shut up. So, well, <laughs> a, a little a little behind the scenes here. My son came out here and turned off the light. <laughs> and so I was trying to turn off my microphone and I was trying to motion to get him to turn on the light. And when I did that, I turned it off and then my hand hit my uh, headphones and pulled Pulled, it was it was cord. a perfect storm for a like, podcast. You gotta be kidding me, yeah. <laughs> right? And right. then so like I go to put it back in, and then like it I falls out again. It falls out again. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you gotta be huh? kidding? Huh? Yeah, huh? we're gonna keep all this yeah. in. Oh yeah, I yeah. no. Like, I don't edit, edit. I don't edit for nah, nothing. Fuck that. <laughs> he learned that. He learned that from me. <laughs> I well, okay. Since we're we're talking about that real quick, I do want to put this out there. The reason I don't edit is because it feels too much like work. And right now I'm having a blast doing this show. So that's what I want. I never did it to mine either. And, and, and because it was for me, you lose a little bit of authenticity for me. And maybe that's just laziness talking in, in the form of, art, of artistic integrity. But like, I, I want to keep the imperfections in there. I've always loved that about even the music I record. Yeah. If there's a little imperfection in there. That's what music is. I mean, because it's not about being it played. Yeah. I, Huh. I like how he says artistic integrity. It's laziness. Stop. <laughs> Come on. Don't fuck it. This is us. You know, you can be honest with us. Uh, but the name of the game is Deprogram, gents. And uh, we are going, the three of us have pulled through three Adam and the Ants uh, discs and two Adam Ant albums. And we are going to now bounce 20 songs off of each other in an attempt to make a top 10 starter kit for what we're calling Adam and the Ants. Which I think I do think that they are close enough that there was no need for an Adam Ant solo. Oh, absolutely! Like, not. there's no reason for this to be two episodes. No, no, no. Is, is, is no though we are missing some key out, some key songs. I, you know, from what I understand from some of the conversations I've had in from one of the songs that we didn't get a t- whole lot of answers. Again, I, I I always put out the. Hey, what do you guys think? Our essential, yeah. Yeah, and we didn't get much, and two of them actually got multiples. So, that being said, I know this is probably like the one I shouldn't lead with, but I'm going to lead with it because, and here's a ridiculous reason. Do it. Sugar Ray <laughs> did a great oh cover of God. it. Oh, my God. I'm dead All serious. Right, never mind. I, I said do it earlier. I retract that. <laughs> it's stand and deliver. I, I got it. it. I mean, that is one of my favorite songs. Of, of sure, absolutely. I mean, but I didn't know Sugar Ray covered that. It makes me dislike fourteen fifty nine. Wow, bruh. that makes me dislike uh, this song a little bit and <laughs> not like them more. <laughs> I love, no. dude. I'm the Danny Highwayman. You're too scared to mention. I spend my cash on looking flash and grabbing your attention. Come that's on, me. if that's not me, that's me. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, it's the devil's it, finger radio. Your record collection. Oh, oh, yeah, dude, come on! <laughs> it's it's a fun tune, and I mean, uh, and it perfectly encapsulates his image, the sound, everything he was going for. It's a perfect song for him. Absolutely. I mean, Sugar Ray is what put it 
on my dial. All right, that's enough. That's enough mentioning. Yeah, just Sugar right. Ray put it, Sugar Ray put it on my dial. Look, stop it. Sugar Ray put it on my dial. Stop. But I mean, seriously. So like, I initially was planning on like just not having it for that reason. But then I gave it a listen. I'm like, nah, man, this is this is spot on. You know me in what? singles. It was never not on my list, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Never right. not on my list. So we got one. All right. Uh, we'll stay here in studio. Brian. All right. Um, since my favorite song is n- not eligible, I will go with um, maybe top five for me. Probably top three. Ant music. Oh, yep. 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 And that was uh, the one we got most from listeners. Yeah, I really. Was, yeah, wow. I was, I was uh, playing that on the way home. And I fucking, the, the, the line, unlock the jukebox. And, uh, and do us all a favor. Yeah. favor. That music's lost its taste, so try another flavor. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking great. I, he's That's, just, he's like, he's so like, your shit sucks, my shit is the future, fuck you. I love him, dude. He's, yeah. but, he's, but he's nice about it. And he's <laughs> flamboyant about it. Right. I love oh, Adam. The I, love, them, I love him. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, Fredo. Okay, we, so we're two for two. So two I'll fuck two. it up now. I'm uh, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a deeper cut. Ooh. Uh, off of off of Prince Charming, and it's the song Mohawk. I love that oh, fucking chant. That was a hard. That was a hard cut for me, that dude. Really was one of my last. Uh, cuts. I, I, I I'm sure what, but I just love that fucking chant, man. I like I like uh, the way it plays into the next song. Like yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. I like everything about Mohawk, and but I, you didn't like it enough to put it on your list. I mean, it 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 took a lot to cut it though. Desperate times, desperate measures are called for. <laughs> you understand? You understand? If you somebody will. wasn't gonna make it to the back door. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just love that fucking that chant, man. Like oh yeah, be da, 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 da. and the way yeah. it, it fades and then yeah. <laughs> It, it is a fun tune. All right, I'm going to toss this one out here because I don't. I hope I don't have it since you fucked me over. <laughs> hey, you may not. How about uh, whipping my valise? Absolutely. You know, that's the one that I was listening to. Yeah. When you text me, oh. and I was trying to see where I was going to put it in. If you'd have texted me 30 seconds later, it would have been in. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. Well, two of us got it. So that's good. Uh, so we've got two all the way through. Sorry, my wife is texting me. She's uh, I was telling Brian when he first got here that uh, she may come in through the door furiously because she's just now leaving work. So, Oof. yeah, yeah. Long day for her. Um, so we got two through one in the conversation. Brian, you are up, sir. All right. So we've done three albums so far. Let me uh, let me go his first uh, solo record, technically. Um. Again, I don't care if it was a big song. It was one of my introductions to him outside of Stand and Deliver. Uh, I love this song. It's about something I don't think anybody realizes. Goody Two Shoes. Oh, I don't have that one. No. Well, it, it seems like it's a sexual song, but it's actually about him being bipolar. Ah. Yeah. I, he was, yeah, I, I didn't put it in. Yeah. He was always like the straight edge dude. He didn't drink. He didn't smoke. And they're like, what, what do you do? It must be something inside. He's talking about his mental illness. Oh, yeah. See, and these are the insights that I like getting from the show because now I can listen to it with a different ear. Yeah, but I always thought it was like a sexual song. That's why I liked it because I'm a pervert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm also mentally ill too, so it works on hey, both was, levels. You know what? I was today years old. <laughs> Look at you! Level. Look at you being today years old. All right, uh, uh, Fredo. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's. You know what? Let's make it over two for me. And um, uh, I'm going to go. This is a cover, which he didn't do a lot of covers um, that I know of. I know where you're going. But he made this one so fucking. I mean, he made this song his own. And it's off uh, solo friend or flow, uh, friend, or, friend or foe. It's the Doors cover of Hello, I Love You. I don't have it. I I, I just have a no covers policy. So that that's the only reason I don't have it. I I, oh, I agree I, with you where he, he made it his own. So, yeah, that that's why that's why I, I normally don't go with covers. Um, at least blatant covers, because I think the the only exception I would ever make to that rule is probably Devo. Uh, I can't get no satisfaction because they literally made the guitar riff a drum beat, and it's genius. It it's like doesn't sound song. anything like that. Yeah. The original song. All right, so my turn. Yeah. All right, I've been dying to sing this. Like 
<laughs> for a week. Yes. Crackpot history. I, I don't know why it stuck out so much, but that what? line, crackpot history and the right to lie, uh, <laughs> it's it, it invaded my head and I couldn't get it out. And when I went to cut it, I listened to it again. I was like, I can't. <laughs> I just, I've been singing it for a week. I I don't care if you guys don't have it. Thank Crack- you for sharing that with us. I don't have it though. <laughs> I don't either. But it's fucking great. I kind I I kind of wish I had it now. <laughs> I, so do I. So do I. I don't know why. Like it just it would not get out of my head. So <clears throat> all right, <laughs> Brian. All right. Uh, <laughs> da, da, ba, da, 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 <laughs> this is a song that uh, I only included because of part two. Part oh. two is so good. I mean, we are know where I'm going. Part two is so good. It makes up for kind of how discordant the first part is, which it's a good. It's still a good song, but it's not. It wouldn't have caught me. Uh, Car Trouble, okay. part one and two. Uh, I, I, I didn't. That didn't make it because I couldn't separate them. Oh. I get you on that. Yeah, I, I almost it. cut it because I, I only half of the song is great. But <laughs> yep. yeah, I don't have it either. All right, Fredo. Um, I'm going to go with it. You can take any version of this. I think there's 137 versions in the five albums. <laughs> um, uh, actually, there's two versions. Um, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, there's the single version and then the other one, and mm-hmm. it's physical. I don't care which one. I I, I like them both. Um, I if you need that. to pick one, I'll say the single. Really but if you guys have the other one, well, fuck it, I'll change it. it was if, I, that was cut number 21. Yeah, it, it was a hard cut for me, and I think it's because I, uh, I, I, I prefer the Nine Nails version, honestly. Oh. Eh. oh. That's a rarity. All right, so Dude, I am 0 for fucking 3. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to say at this point. Uh, there is a NTP, I'm not going to call it New Trash Protocol anymore, even though I just did. NTP, <laughs> uh, where each of us can pull one of our own out of the trash and one from another panel member's trash. So for us, it'll give us six more to pull if into the conversation it. if we need it. Because uh, right now we have two in. I'd be fine with that one, honestly. One in the combo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we'll. It was close for me too. So. Yeah. We'll um, see. If we it, it. I. It, it's still an essential song. I just. I. I. For me, it was there was too much other stuff that I wanted to put in there, and I think I prefer the national version. So. So I'm gonna toss this one out here, and I don't know. If you have this, Brian, but it made me think of you the day I met God. Absolutely. That was one of the ones I was like, I'm not cutting this. I'm going to cut other songs from this record, but <laughs> not the day I met God. I love nope. that song, dude. Right. Did it, did it, didn't make the, the cut for me. Thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was, it was. It was a little bit of the sound. It was a little bit of the, the message, but I was just like, it's got that great melodic riff, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great song. Yeah. All right. It is your turn, Brian. Now we have two in, two in the combo. All right. Um, Ants Invasion. Nope. No, I don't have that. Nope. All right. Fair. Fair. <laughs> uh, it's got a great riff, though. Opening riff. There's a lot of really good riffs. Yeah. We started off good, and now we're just like fucking... We're all in the place. place. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if I can get us back on track here. Um... I'm going to go with uh, Adamant on his own strip. Yeah, I got strip. Yeah, I got it too. That, that, awesome. That's that's my least favorite of the records that we did. And it's a cheesy song, but I love it. And it's a it's fucking there. great yeah. song. I mean, it's, you know, it's it's like a, the quintessential pop song. It, it's, it's so childish and immature, and yet it's still fun. You know, it's upbeat. And it's like, come on, honey. I... Let's get naked. <laughs> Essentially, he should have called it. You know, <laughs> hey, let's get naked. Is this the one where he's like, bring your lips over here. I want to kiss you. That might be a different one. But uh, I was just like, uh, that could be like any, like any that's other, true too. any, yeah, that, any third out of me. Every other song is that. <laughs> but the, those, that was like the legit lyric. And I was like, okay, out of me. Chill out. No, it's, just, uh, it's been going down. To, uh, since ancient history, if I strip for you, we'll you strip for me. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, essentially, here's my balls. Now let me see them tits. Jesus. That's, that's what he said. The story goes: uh, the time we were not not so many clothes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a lame but awesome song. 
Written, <laughs> written by a nerd for nerds like us. We're like, yeah, that's what sex is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see him. Let me see him. <laughs> put him on a glass. Put him, put him on a glass. glass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I, oh, my God. I saw Tim. Ah, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was you, right, Freddy? You put the strip out there? Yeah, yes, did. I did. Yeah. Right, so I got us back on track. My turn. Uh Sound wise, I thought this was right on point, but now listening to where we all are, I don't know if it's going to hit Los Rancheros. Absolutely, I got it on. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't put that one. It's, okay, it's got a it's, it's got a nice like uh, Mexican slash Western sure, right. to it. Sure. Yeah, and it's it's because uh, you said something about that coming in, Fredo. About there's like, I mean, you were leaning more towards this fashion, but sound wise, I was like. Okay, he's doing something different here sound wise, but it still sounds like the band. That's, he, that's the whole thing with him, man, is that he, you know, he, he, he hits these, he's got these certain topics and he makes them all gel together, even though they shouldn't. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, so we've got three and three. All right, Brian. All right. Be nice if we weren't like, we're literally podcasting by candlelight right now brian we are it's very i'm i mean that's I'm, why you guys are getting all like Ew, yeah i'm glad you brought up strip when the lights went out so <laughs> <laughs> uh put him on a glass <laughs> put him on a glass put him, put him on a glass uh title track for uh what i would have said was my favorite record prince charming just like the lyrics oh, to this oh, song yeah. are great don't you ever stop being dandy showing me you're handsome don't you ever uh lower yourself for getting all your standards yeah it's just yeah. it's a, it's a self-affirming song for a flamboyant nerd good for him yeah yeah i don't i don't, I don't have, have it, it though yeah I do, I do wow. have it. <laughs> all right Fred, that's gonna be my uh, yeah it's a great song Fredo, Fredo. What, what, what is nothing to be scared of Oh, uh, and what are the lyrics to that part? Yeah. Oh, shit. There's nothing to be scared of. Uh, ridicule is nothing to be scared ridicule, of. Ridicule, yeah, yeah. that's what it is, right. See, and that's how I live my life. Yeah. Like, I give a fuck yeah, what man. anybody says. <laughs> All right, you Put were him up. on the glass. Dude. Put him on the glass. <laughs> um, uh, let's go back to Dirk. Um, probably, uh, you know, this was, I, I believe this was his breakout video. Um, and it's just him kind of dancing. It just didn't make any sense. But uh, Xerox. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I do have it. Yes. Yes, I do. I yeah, I that, that. I mean, that's a. It's a great song, but the video is just <laughs> dumb and shit. Especially when you see the when you notice the videos he comes that comes after. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he's still in he's still in full punk rock mode here. All right, I actually did like the whole white face paint for at a tribute for one Gloom show oh, years really? years and years ago. Yeah, yeah. Every, everyone thought I was like Wilson from fucking uh, Castaway. I was like, no, dude, I'm Adam man. You guys are you guys are idiots. You guys That's suck. Stupid. Have, <laughs> have you ever seen him in concert? I did. Did you see him when he played the Norva? I did. I actually got engaged that night after that show. Oh, I dragged I dragged my now ex fiance to that show. She didn't want to go, and I was like, and we had so much fun that we fucking you know did had, had a lot of sex afterwards and got engaged. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And, and, and then the sex wore off. It did very much so. <laughs> you like beat it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I got what a fucking show. It was such a great show. Yeah, he does seem like a a, a showman. Like, yes. Yeah. Like he had, a he, he had the, the the dual female drummers with the beehive hairdos and shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, he, I love him, man. He could do no it, wrong for me. He's yeah. He's he's, he's flamboyant. He, he's without the pyrotechnics, he probably puts on one of the best shows um, that you can see without explosions and fire. I will never forget that show as long as I live. Yeah, I, I, I got. I actually got to see that show twice because right. I saw it the day before. I think it was the day before in Richmond, at the National. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work actually. I work both shows. No, I worked the one in the National, and then the one down here. I just I, I went to. Yeah, great show, dude. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. so Fredo played Xerox, so it's my turn. Um. All right. I've been looking at this one. I'll put it out there. How about Press Darlings? 
Nope. Nope. Okay. Just for so everybody knows, we've got four through three into the conversation. So still a lot to pick. Yeah. Yeah. We, we might be okay here. We might be all right. I, th- I think we're gonna be okay. All right, Brian. All right, I'm gonna finish out Dirk. My picks for Dirk anyway. Uh, kick. Oh no! Problem. Oh, hold on, hold on. Mm-mm. That made nope. My, yeah, I made my first cut. Not the second. See, one. for me, it was like I was gonna cut one of the three between Xerox, Whip of My Valets, or Kick, and I was like, I'm not gonna cut any of those actually. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck it. I get. Uh. All right. Damn it, Fredo. I got I got two dirts that I'm not getting that three actually. Same. Yeah, shit. No, no, three others, because I've already had some. Yeah, same. <laughs> shit. Um uh Just know you know those won't be unanimous. Well, they could be in the conversation. I, I probably know. I probably cut them on the way here. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Let's go. I'm I'm gonna stay with, with solo Adam. Uh off a of friend of foe. Which by the way, I got autographed at that at that show. Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. Yep. Jealous. So, eat a dick. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> try for the slights. Um, no. Nope. Mm. Nope. Oh, that was that was a late, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> eh, I mean, fuck yourself with that pickup. May- you know, maybe problem. if you didn't preface it with, I got the fucking record signed. <laughs> 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 Tell, told us to eat a bad, bag of dicks, too. So. <laughs> that was... You know what? Yeah, I have it, but fuck you. You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to stay on that album, though. Uh, desperate, but not serious. Yep. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I got to just double check it, but I'm pretty sure I got Yep, there it is. All right. I got it. Desperate, but not, but not serious. serious. Your kisses dry. Me delirious. <laughs> Very fun song for for you know what it is. All right. I don't like the way you say it like that. I mean, <laughs> he's talking about being desperate, but he's not serious about it. Yeah, he's not serious. serious. So how desperate can he be if he's serious? <laughs> All right, so that puts us five through. So we're halfway Dude, there. I think we might, we might, this might set a record. Yeah, I don't know that we've ever. We did not hit this much on Depeche Mode. I know that. No, the we three did of us. I know. <laughs> no, we didn't. Did we hit three on Depeche Mode? I, I think we may have lucked that, out. With I three. think I think three was was what we got. But we were all super depressed that day too. So that, that was it was the last show I ever did at the old the old station. Yeah, almost for me too. I think I did like two more out of that. All right, uh, Brian. All right, I'm not going to bother pronouncing this in the language it's written in. Because he doesn't do it in the song. It's from Prince Charming. It's Picasso Visits the Planet of the Apes. I got it. Love that nope. song. Nope. Picasso visita, visita el Planeta de los Simios. Yep. How do I do, Fredo? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you, yeah, you did perfect. What but, the fuck? again, it's a whole science fiction thing. He's a nerd, <laughs> yeah. but he's fucking super cool. <laughs> and he's got great fashion, and I can't relate to that at all. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Missed the fashion over here? I was, be- I was not being serious. Ah, there. Or but desperate. he was being desperate. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, Fredo. All right, let's see. So that that's four in the combo. Let's All we need see. to do is land one more in the uh, NTP. We'll we'll How about um, uh, Kings of the Wild Frontier? How about uh, doggy, 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 doggy? <laughs> nope, that was a hard cut for me. No. Oh. How could you know that one, man? It's a good one, though. I know, man. I, I, I'm I, I'm not proud of it either. There's a lot. Like as I was listening to the uh, the second time, I'm like, how do I cut this? Like this is right on the nose of what he's doing. Like how do I cut it? Obviously, you had no problem. Oh, I had a problem. <laughs> it took me a long time to cut. I think my first round through was like 38. Basically, I didn't want to remake the Antics in the Forbidden Zone record. It was, it, was a, it was a compilation record, right? which right. also has uh, Beat My Guest on it, but I didn't want to do every song from that record. We should have we should have put that on there, because I think that's got Deitcher Girls, too, I believe. Uh, maybe, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Nope. What are you going to do? I don't know these things. All right, uh, so that was... I didn't want to be the B-side guy again. I did, I did that with Radiohead my first <laughs> my first time on the show ever. I was like, all B-sides, and they're like, all, all misses. <laughs> Yep. So I, I never want to be like, B side guy again. Yeah, but you got to still play the game a little bit. I, you know, as long as as long as it's on Spotify. Yeah, 
Uh, well, and also, I think this is a good time to remind people. Technically, there are no rules. I would, I would suggest not coming to play being being B side guy, like coming with nothing but B sides. All right, with well, a B by guest is on the list. <laughs> <laughs> you can put it out there because there are people who listen and collect all the music. Yeah. So, like, you know, there's it's likely you'll miss because. I didn't. We don't have it, right? But you never know. And uh, well, how about you guys eat a bag of dicks? Wow, it's probably a good idea. (laughs) It's probably a good idea. There really was no need for that. I mean, we were having fun, and then you come up with. (laughs) Oh, we we were having fun with you telling us eat a bag of dicks. (laughs) Yes, right. You remember (laughs) earlier when I was talking to when you were talking to my friend? (laughs) Remember earlier? (laughs) You were talking to his belly. (laughs) <laughs> Hello, ice cream. Having fun running around. <laughs> All right. Uh, my turn. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. How about yeah. Sh- how about something girls? No. No. Dang. All right. Brian. All right. Uh, the song I cut doggy dog for. Uh, actually, no. This isn't the one I cut it for. Uh, it is the title track from that record, though. Kings of the Law Frontier. Nope. No, that was a. That was a, that was the last minute cut for me. All right. I think I looked right at that song. And I said, "I bet you Brian has this." Fuck. And you're like, "Fuck that guy." <laughs> hey, you're like, it's eats. a you're like it's a doggy dog world, bitch. <laughs> hey, I hope he eats a bag of dicks. <laughs> right, um, doggy dicks, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fredo. Don't rush me. This um, is not uh, rush. It's Adam and the Ants. <laughs> We're not doing a, was it Taylor Dane? Don't rush yes, me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kudos. <laughs> yeah, Can we do Taylor I'm, Dane? I love Taylor Dane. Huh? Oh, damn, she's great. Yeah. No, 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 no. You know what? I've made that mistake before. I'm not, not doing that. All right. <laughs> That's the lyric in the song. Nobody got it. Fuck you all. That's why you all eat a bag of <laughs> Let's stay, let's stay, um, uh, let's stay on Kings. And let's go with the, um, uh, nah, not one I know is it on there. Uh, let's go with Jolly Roger. No. Nah. No. You stupid. <laughs> Get my bigs. Get my bigs. <laughs> my bigs. <laughs> Your 33 and a third percent chances just went drastically down. <laughs> Drastical down. <laughs> he knows. He can't be. He's not even going to try. You see Samoa Joe? <laughs> All right. Uh, how about Vanity? We're not doing them. We're doing Adam and the Ants. Hey, yo. <laughs> ah, nasty girl. <laughs> no, I you would you would assume I'd have a song called Vanity, but no. Well, although I do agree with your sentiment earlier about I think that album as a whole was a little too cheesy. But I did find a couple that I was like, yeah, I yeah. want to bring those. All right, Brian. All right. Here's my uh, swing and a miss from Kings of the Law Frontier. Well, I think my second one, actually. Uh, actually, most of mine have fucking failed so far from this record. So here we go. Uh, don't be square. Be there. I got it. Wow. Nope. All right. So my combo. You know what? You, I, I am. Uh, when it comes to like these dual song you know but i'm nowhere i'm either in or i'm out <laughs> <laughs> yeah you i think all these all all these are me and brian yeah i think so too yeah, yep. yeah. well and there as of right now there is no conversation to have because we have five in the combo five all the way through i mean we're gonna, we're gonna have six right now we still have plenty to go through so are you ready I mean, I all right are you ready for six? Let's Are you ready? It. Let's do it. Let's off, go for it. Off, off a strip, Spanish games. Nope. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do actually have it. I only had two songs on that record. That's one of them. And I thought I was going to fucking fail miserably with that one. No. <laughs> All right. No. Only fucking. I don't have it. So that's yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that says everything right there. Does it? <laughs> what does it say about the other five <laughs> that me and Brian had? It's, it shows that me and him were more in tune because that, that that that's more of a deep cut, man. Oh, okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Maybe you know. maybe if you just didn't blow it off in your first go through. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how about friend? No. no. What? No. <laughs> friend or foe? 
Yeah, I have that. Yeah. No. no. Okay. Well, no. You know what? And 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 this was me playing the game. Mm-hmm. And here's here's, and I was actually thinking about this when I was making the list. Checking it twice. Um. Uh, and Brian will get this. Songs like that to us are hits. Okay. Yeah, it is a hit. Okay. And 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 because you know those are the songs that are like on Antics in the Forbidden Zone or shit like that, that are on yeah. Greatest Hits albums mm-hmm. that we hear all the time. Uh-huh. But to you, it's Brand not new. because yeah. it, it was never a, a, a big radio song. It was never, you know? Yeah. It, it, so in, in playing the game, I sometimes think of that song as more than it is. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, you know, it made the combo. So, I mean, it's definitely pale in comparison to the success of, of Goody Two Shoes from that record. Right. But yeah, it, it, it is a single. Absolutely. Okay. Right. All right. Brian, I'm uh, down to my last five here. I, I'm down to my last two, I think. Ooh. Um, I might be wrong about that. Actually, no. Uh, I'll, I'm going to finish out that record, Friend or Fell. Uh, Mile High Club. I'm sorry. No, I'm, uh, Made of Money. Oh. oh. Nope. I don't have that one, but that one was definitely no. cut. All right. It's funny because I, I cut my high club. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Okay, that so that, that is my last one. I, I misspoke. So. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I was saying like that. That song I originally said is actually my last song on the list. So oh. I, I jumped ahead of myself and said two so, songs at once. Okay. I misspoke. Oops. <laughs> so you know, I still got a couple from from that song from that album. Okay. But that's gone. Um. Uh, let's see. So Dirks is you're done with Dirks, yep, and you're done with uh, with friend of foe. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go with them. Uh, Prince Charming, that voodoo. Mm, nope. That was a hard cut for me. Ah, all right, all right. Um, all right. I'll bounce this one out here. Killer in the home. No, oh, no, man. And I was, it's funny because I was singing that the whole way home. <laughs> <laughs> was there a killer in your home? <laughs> killer in the home. <laughs> you know what that guitar though is? It that 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 strumming of that guitar, that trun trun trun. You know? Yeah. It's it. That's almost like prevalent in a lot of his songs. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of a feel? Oh, well, that's one of the reasons I picked it. I I'm just saying, like I was trying to frame the sound. I think for me, the reason I didn't pick it is because it had that old school, like '50s kind of uh, guitar riff to it. That's I, it. Yep. Yeah. '50s. Yep. Kind of like a guy swaggering down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brian. Uh, well, I kind of half said this last time. Uh, my last song, since all of mine have been said, "Mile High Club" from Prince Charming. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope. All right, so Brian is out. I'm out. Okay. I've got four left. Where are you I've at? I've got one, two, three, four, five. I got seven. Jesus Christ, Fred. What have you Man. been doing over there? Uh, you know. Um, so You're let me go. Uh, I, let's see. Puss in Boots by uh, Off a of Strip. Nope. That's the one I cut to go with the uh, Spanish games. Uh, all right. All right. But well, we got Spanish games in the conversation. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to match you on Dirk. Uh, Cleopatra. Nope. Oh. Uh, on Dirk, let's go Digital Tendencies. Nope. Mm, that's a good one, though. I know. I mean, there's no there's no bad answers here. All right. Except for Fredo's answers. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Don't write anything at all. <laughs> How about, uh, I'll take it back to Strip. Baby, let me scream at you. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, with friend or foe. Place in the country. Nope. I'm surprised that one didn't make the list. To be honest, I, it, it was uh, it was almost there for me. All right. What? Uh, 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 how about we'll stay with strip for me, Playboy. Nope. Okay. Now I'm I'm on my last one. Okay. Um, 
Let's go with the human beings off of uh, Kings of the Wild Frontier. Nope. Nope. I know that. <laughs> and yeah. last but not least, uh-huh. uh, off of Dirk, the idea. No. How do I have two left from Dirk and you didn't pick one? <laughs> yeah. There, there is a lot of songs on that record. Yeah, 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 yeah there, there is. That, that really could have been like a double album. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Fredo, um, uh, you want to clear, clear it? Uh, yeah, we'll finish it up. I got Table Talk off of Dirk. That was a tough cut. Uh, Catholic Day. That one was a really mm. tough cut. Yeah. I can't believe. I, I'll be honest with you. I can't believe that one didn't make it. I, and uh, I the Magnificent to. Five. You know, that one made my first round, too. But it was one of the first ones I cut in my second round. I don't know why. I just did. I'm going to go eat some dicks right now. <laughs> All right. I that, you know what? That's a song. That's a song that, at the end of the day, I was like, "Man, I should have picked something else." <laughs> well, sometimes you get down to the bottom of the list, and it's just you're you you brought something to the game just to bring it yeah, to the you, game. No, it, it's that you're tired and you don't want to think anymore. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. Um, it's not good. It's not gonna make it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna put it on. So we have five all the way through. Stand and deliver. Ant music. Strip. Xerox. Desperate but not serious, and we have seven. So we need to cut two in the conversation. This probably won't be too hard. Uh, whip in the in, whip in my valise. The day I met I'll, God. I, I, I'll tell you what. Put that one on through. Yeah, whip. Yeah. Okay. Because you got because you both had it, and and I and that was a, a one of the last cuts for me. So one okay. of the first songs they ever did together too. Oh, yeah. well, us, you and I? No, 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 no the, the the band. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Like, we didn't do it. <laughs> hey, you. Who told you to torture? Who taught you? All right. So the other six, uh, <laughs> The Day I Met God, Los Rancheros, Don't Be Square, Be There, Picasso Visita El Planeta de los Simios, Friend or Foe, and... Da, 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 da. Spanish games. So we got to lose two of those. I'm going to go with Spanish games just because it's an obscure song that I will think people should hear. And I think Brady would agree with me. I was the only one who didn't have it. So, yeah. If, yeah. What? So it's staying? Yeah. Yep. And uh, Los Rancheros, I would go to that for because it has a different kind of sound to it. I'm with Los Rancheros. Um, uh, we need to get rid of two. How many are left? There are one, two, three, four, five left. And we haven't gotten rid of anything. And and that that includes Los Rancheros. That includes Los Rancheros right now. What are the other four? The Day I Met God, Don't Be Square, Be There, Picasso Visita El Planeta de los Simios, Friend or Foe. I'm fine with that. So we need to lose two. I'm fine with losing Don't Be Square, Be There. I'm with that too, actually. Okay. So, so I think I think friend or foe should move on. Yeah, I agree. Okay, friend or foe. I want to, so we have to cut one more, right? Yep. What are the last two? The last three are the Damn It God, Los Rancheros, and Picasso Visita. Los Rancheros. I thought we we, we passed yeah. that one on. Put okay. that one through. So then it's the Damn It God versus Picasso Visita. <sighs> as much as I really love the Damn It God, I think the other one should go through Picasso. I don't. I don't have a dog in the fight, so I don't care. Okay. What do you think, man? Well, I had Picasso. I had them both. Yeah. So I'll go with Picasso just because I like saying it. Picasso. Yeah. Picasso. You know what? That could have been the easiest fucking uh, two song fucking put through I think I've ever been a yeah. part of. Well, yeah. This is this is easily the easiest list you've ever been a part of, Fredo. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm normally a troublemaker. He's always a troublemaker. Really? No way. Uh. Yeah, no, seriously. Like they got to make rules for me after. Yes. And I'm like, I'm like the, the, the show Brady has rules at all. Fucking, I'm like the Tom Brady. In this. <laughs> Every time I play, you got to make another fucking rule. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> this rule. All right, so our final ten. Uh, let's run it down, gents. Stand and deliver. Ant music. Strip. Spanish games. Friend or foe. Picasso visita. Xerox. Los Rancheros, desperate but not serious, whipping my valise. That's all of this, I, man. I think this is probably the most fun list you'll ever put together. 
I mean, I'd, I'd like to revisit Weird Al because that one was a lot of fun. Well, minus Weird Al, yeah. because Weird, Weird Al is, Weird and Al. I would like to be a part if you ever redo Weird Al. I think what we would, I think yeah, if I piece. start if I start redoing ones because I I really feel like I kind of want to redo Pumpkins and Local H because I didn't know what the show was. Well, then. we already know how to be on Pumpkins because I wasn't oh, on that. Yes, time. but the I'm uh, fucked up. <laughs> I can't. I still can't believe how much you hate on the Pumpkins for some reason, Fredo. I, hey, you know what? It, it's just like you hating on uh, on on Kiss. I get that though. I just don't. I don't hate on Kiss. I just don't get Kiss. I I I, I don't. I just don't like the pumpkins. I, I'm I'm not, you know. If if that I was what you said, overrated. that'd be. F- oh, how dare you, sir! I think I, they're I, overrated. Dude. I think the I think the pumpkins are the ninety the early nineties versions of fucking Creed. They're whoa, fucking, whoa, wait! And they were they were fucking uh, a big deal at that point, and then after that, they were like <clears throat> whatever. How dare you, sir? First of all, look for how some- many how many of them uh, good kiss records they make there. Uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> what? Uh, I think like twenty two gold kiss, platinum fucking out. Kiss alive uh, too. Uh, how many platinum records do uh, uh, the do Pumpkins have? have uh, kiss? kiss has got multi, 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 multi. They named a record out. double platinum. <laughs> yes, there you go. And that record went double platinum. Uh, the they only thing else, they got eight hundred greatest hits, and all of them have gone at least gold. For somebody, How many times can you repackage the same shit and still have it go gold? I mean, they, they've been doing it their entire career. That's true. Yeah, they're fucking awesome. <laughs> they're fucking awesome. That's your With their okay. fake ass a- a- Ace Freely and Peter Chris on stage now. <laughs> I saw them on the fucking Price is Right at the gym yesterday. <laughs> you know what? They were on the Price is Right. <laughs> amazing. That's kind like, of amazing. They, they they changed the game with the, the guy, the yodel guy that goes uh-huh. up the hill. <laughs> it was fucking... Uh, it was... It was uh, uh, Gene? Paul Stanley. Oh, Paul Stanley. Yeah. I was I was at the fucking doctor, so I couldn't hear it. I just physically saw it. I was laughing. I saw the the, the showcase. Yeah, I didn't I, I didn't hear it either because it was a, it was on the TV when I was on the treadmill. But yeah. <laughs> but for somebody who can who can go to bat for like Nickelback, and uh, you've sure. gone to bat for for Hanson because you've seen like the uh, fans lining around. Sure, sure. In '96, the Smashing Pumpkins were undoubtedly the biggest band in the world. It didn't Get last long, here. dude. I'll put I'll put them in the top. I'll put them in the top in the conversation. Dude, ninety five. Every every everyone had three records. They had Tragic Kingdom. They had Melancholy, and they had uh, Astro Creep. Not only Island. did I not have Melancholy, Melancholy was probably the album that fucking made me dislike them. When Tonight Tonight hit, get the fuck out of here, dude. Fuck that song. That okay? You can say that all you want, but that video was massive, and oh they, sure, yeah. Like, Okay, so, so why are massive, we arguing here? But so was Creed's My Own Prison. <laughs> but Creed was never the biggest band in the world. Uh, neither was I, Pumpkins. I might have to disagree and, with you there. They, Creed, they, they, they probably were, unfortunately. Album, <laughs> when they put out that first album, everybody was on. They're nuts. They're Christian nuts. They were all on them. I will, I will say that I never was on Creed's Nuts. I never disliked them, but I was never on Creed's Nuts. I we wanted to put that out there we, we, we talked about it. No, we talked about Nickelback, how they, like, I don't, they're not the worst band in the world. Not even I'm, close. I'm not, no. No, way, no way a fan. I just don't get why they are the worst band in the world. It, well, because I can think of them. a lot worse bands. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's just people hating on them because they're fucking, because they've got, uh, they've got the formula down pat. Yeah. You know, and that's what it is. They, they they got the pop formula down pat, and they're fucking millionaires, and 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 they've got multi multi platinum albums, and they've broken records all over the world. And there are other obnoxious fucking guys who think, oh, they're fucking, oh, my band's better than them. No, you're not even close, guy. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. I saw a meme today on the internet. It was like uh, somebody passing a baton, and it was like. Nickelback to Maroon Five, and I'm like, I yes, can't think of two yeah, more bands that are more inoffensive and be to hate on so much. Like, they're like they're not great, but they're not terrible. Like they're not the well, worst band ever heard. You know, when you, you say they're not great, um, they're good, solid bands. It's not that they're not great; it's that there there's no reason to hate them other than you're an obnoxious fuck. Yeah, that's really the bottom line. They're they're they're, they're good, solid. They're bands. competent musicians. They're, Huh? They're, I mean, they're 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 competent musicians. 
They're no, they're better than competent musicians. They're they're good musicians. They're they're good musicians. Now, are they, are, 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 is anybody gonna? I mean, they're better musicians than half the bands people put above them. Probably, yeah. You know, and and actually, I've seen Nickelback in concert, and and Nickelback would be one of the if you have never been to a rock and roll show and you want to see a stereotypical rock and roll show, I I pick two bands: Kiss and Nickelback. Fucking great show. I don't give a shit if you like them or not. It's a great visual show. We kind of got way off base here. So I'm going to put you on the spot here, Fredo. What's the number one with a bullet? Ooh. Um, uh, the number one with a bullet. I'm going to have to say. Um, uh, stand and deliver. Yep. Hard to argue. Absolutely. That's what I was looking at, too. Hard to argue. Yeah. It's it's right on brand, right on message. It the video is fucking everything that he is as an artist too. Plus, mm-hmm. plus Sugar Ray covered it. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, it's gonna be desperate but not serious. <laughs> uh, so Stan, what, what, so what are we doing? What are we doing, Sugar Ray? <laughs> I do have it on the list. Really? Uh, Who the fuck suggested that? Did you do this? I did. I like I like floored. Um, and I'm willing to torment myself with every 1459 every is a good morning. pop record uh it it's not something i want to listen to very often as a matter of fact less than once a year uh florida on the other hand is more of a punk rock cali punk record cash i need some fucking cash i need it right now i need it fast oh yeah sugar right ray right was right punk away. yeah that first album of fucking sugar ray was lemonade punk and brownies punk. is punk as um and then florida florida's a decent record which i listen to florida like once a year uh, but they are on the list. Nobody's jumped on. So I, I kind of want to listen to those garbage pop ones after 1459. Like the ones, uh, I don't even remember the singles. Is, is terrible. Is every morning on that one? Every or morning. Was on that was on 1459. 1459. Yeah. Uh, but then there's one where it was basically the every morning sequel. Yeah. I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I, I was trying to think of like, what's the other song? It's the same song, but it's not the mm-hmm. same song. Yep. <laughs> not good. <laughs> All right. I don't uh, know, but I know that I got wrestling on and Charlotte Flair is making fun of Becky's limp. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got some Smackdown. I got to I got to watch. So we need to wrap it up here. But yep. uh, I think one of the country bands you put out, Fredo, somebody jumped on. So that might hop up the list here. Um, I don't remember which one offhand, but probably with your group of fucking stuck up friends. It's probably fucking Hank Williams. Nope. I, I'm, I'll and tell you some right now, fucking tattooed guy with a fucking long beard who fucking hangs out over at Kogan's like, yeah, let's do Hank. Hey, man, you don't, you don't have to attack me personally, motherfucker. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, and Brian, uh, let's see, AHA is on deck, ELO yeah. is on deck. Yeah. I don't know which one. You got ELO? First. Yeah, yeah, but I, I love ELO. I don't think you're going to want to do that one. Why? Jenny's on it. No. See? <laughs> and now it's on there, too. Your reaction's on air. Yeah, whatever, man. So there. <laughs> I got you, Jenny. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to run down this 10 one last time real quick. Stand and uh, Deliver, Ant Music, Strip, Spanish Games, Friend or Foe, Caso Visita, El Planeta, Planeta de los Simios, Xerox, Los Rancheros, Desperate But Not Serious, Whipping My Valise, and if you want to put a whip to my back, I don't know. I was trying to think of some clever segue. Uh, patreon.com slash oh hi Justin <laughs> that's a real whip <laughs> oh hi Justin you can help me out by pledging one dollar a month one dollar a month it helps me greatly I won't get into the wholesale but patreon.com slash oh hi Justin I would appreciate you for the rest of my life you understand if you will gentlemen so thank you so much for, for uh, doing the show with me always my blast. pleasure a blast as always it's always a, a good time even when Fredo decides to dump on the pumpkins for no reason. <laughs> so. Way out of line. Way out of line. I got a mind to go to the warden about this. <laughs> you know, it's it's painful. You know, the the one thing. Uh, like, except for the other the thing. Lack of, respect, <laughs> hurts lack of respect hurts the second most. Except for the other thing, you know. That, that hurts the, the first most. Oh, Jesus. Dirty work quotes. Uh, with that, Adam and the Ants. Learn them and love them, people. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.